Hey, welcome back to DIY RV and Home with Greg. Just finished my latest project on our trailer. Added some uh, struts for the storage underneath the bed for the lid. It came out great. Um, I didn't use a kit. I bought all the pieces to do it. Video, I'll kind of talk you through what I did, show you what I uh, found, how I did it. Here's the end result though. Now instead of having to lift, hold up, try to find something to prop it up, ask for help from somebody else, now we can just grab, just easily lift it up. So to start out with the project, I figured out uh, where I was going to need to uh, put my brackets and for my installation I needed uh, the lower bracket to be 13 inches from the front of the inside of the storage unit. So I got a line mark on the top of my frame there and once I got that done, went ahead and I got a 2x4, cut it to fit inside the frame and as you saw I was uh, installing uh, that 2x4 with a couple of 2-inch uh, screws on the top and also on the bottom. And once I get that installed, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab the bracket that uh, for the lower side of the strut, figure out where I want it placed, and I just drew a line just to, so I could see where I was going to be putting it. Uh, now I'm going to be taking and using 1-inch screws to temporarily install the bracket. Um, I'm doing a mock-up on everything before I do any uh, final drilling of for bolts or anything like that. And now the top piece, uh, the top bracket for the strut, is going to be mounted on that block that I have on my hand there, which is a three and a half by three and a half. It's going to help to stiffen and support the lid. Uh, that lid's about uh, five, uh, five sixteenths. Um, particle board so that's going to give it a little extra rigidity there so what I was doing is I was making sure that um, the strut is going to clear the side of the frame and also that block is once I got that I went ahead and figured out where it was going to be mounted on the board and there you go and I put a line all the way around it and now what I'm doing is I'm just drilling some holes right through it. I'm going to take those same screws that I used for the lower bracket. And I'm going to use those to attach that uh, piece of uh, three-quarter inch board temporarily while we're mocking it up. Once everything is actually in place, um, I'm going to actually pull it off and apply glue to it and screw it back on there. And... So right now it's just getting everything in place and as you can see it's a little hard to try to hold it with one hand and set screws and everything and just about now I noticed that uh, when I did this I actually was about a quarter inch lower than or a quarter inch higher than what I wanted to be so I readjusted. Now I've got all those in place. This is with one strut attached, and it is actually holding it up uh, barely. If you breathed on it, I think it would fall over. So uh, I quickly uh, jumped for forward on this, and as you can see, I'm just attaching the other side now. Uh, now that it's attached, you can see that it's going to work out. Lid closes properly, stays up. So now, my next step is, I'm actually going to go ahead and put three bolts in uh, this lower bracket. So I've pulled three of the screws out, and I've gone and drilled a hole that'll uh, fit a 10 by 24 bolt through. And the bolts I picked up were two inches long. 
and I, instead of using just regular nuts I went and got acorn nuts uh, that way uh, if there is like fabric or something that I'm storing underneath there and it does um, rub up against the bolt or screw it does not you know have a tendency to snag and tear also aesthetically it looks a little more pleasing than uh, just bolts hanging out I know it's hidden but I, I do see it when I open it up so once I got the bottom done now I'm just around to the top I'm gonna take one out I'm gonna drill it and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolt in place and get a nut put on it and then I'll go ahead and drill the lower the next one and now I can actually take the upper bolt off remove the screws that I screwed that block in with and uh, go ahead and get that glued up along with re-screwing it back together here we go just a little bit of regular wood glue on it Now this is actually kind of fun because it was kind of hard to move uh, to work around the mattress. I didn't have a place to put the mattress. We're in a smaller trailer and uh, just didn't have a place to put it. And I was working by myself. Uh, nobody else was available, but you know I was able to get this done. And if you have the opportunity where you can take the mattress away, it'd be nice. But I'm also going to say that uh, if you did that, just remember that uh, these struts are wanting to lift that up, that lid up, and uh, without the mattress, that lid would just kind of come up with uh, uh, without any uh, assistance. Now what you saw me do is I'd actually taken an angle grinder and uh, cut the bolts down because I just picked up two inch bolts. And so I put some more nuts on that. Now you can see here's the finished product. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you had been thinking about doing this, I hope this gave you the uh, confidence to uh, go ahead and do it. You can buy a kit, or you can uh, just pick up the individual pieces for the uh, project. I'll have a link in the description below for where all the brackets and the struts were from. Also, I'll leave a, a link for the kit uh, that is available once again i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please like share and subscribe and i hope to see you on the next video